Okay? Your night is far spent. Like we re like we were reading in Romans 11 chapter last week. Okay? Now, was it Romans 11 chapter or Romans 13? Matter of fact, go over there and check it. Romans uh, 13. Oh, that was Romans 11. I can't remember. Dolphin State. It's a lot about that. Romans 11 and 13. Where you at? You got to be uh, Romans 13 and 11. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When it says the night, when you read Romans uh, 13 and 11, it said the night far spent, meaning we ain't got long to uh, uh, we ain't got long to continue living in this sinful flesh because Yah Bashanah was shy is going to deliver us out of this uh, deliver us from this sinful flesh. So that's what it means when it says the night far spent because. Uh, the time of us living in this simple flesh is almost up. So go back to what you were saying. That, that's, uh, that's Romans 13 and 12. Oh, uh, Romans 13 and 12. Yeah. Lock it. Yeah, the one I mentioned is Romans 13 Hello. and 12. The water, bro. Okay. All right, back in Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 23. Tell them, therefore, thus said, Yahweh by some Yahweh shy power, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yeah, go ahead. But saying unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. Yep, the days are at hand, man. That's why these prophecies are happening, man. If you're watching the news and paying attention to what's going on in the world, and you understand the scriptures, all right, the Heavenly Father and His Son fulfilling what He said according to His Word in these scriptures, man. Okay? He's doing it, man. It's happening, man. And a lot of these people in La La Land, okay, these so-called Americans in La La Land, and it's gonna happen to this place, but this place gonna be destroyed, man. God. Okay, go ahead. So verse 24, for there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination yeah. within the house of Israel. Yep, flattering divination. We're gonna look divinations up, okay? It's uh, 87080 Kasam, mm -hmm. and it's uh, a false prophet of yeah. Israel. Yeah, people, people, that divination dealing with a false prophet. So, in other words, them lies that they saying America going to last forever, and you ain't got to worry about it, okay? You ain't got to worry about uh, looking into the heavens for Yahweh Shemel was shot. He ain't, he ain't coming back soon. That old mess right there. Just go to school, get you a better job, uh, uh, build you a house from the ground up, and and uh, uh, invest in 401k, and everything will be okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Go vote. Everything will be okay. See? That's the way them false prophets uh, will act. Because they be they work for Esau, so whatever uh, going on in the world to motivate people to continue uh, stand to sleep and further along Esau kingdom, that's what he gonna tell you. Don't worry about it. Just focus on just focus on uh, getting your life right, getting money, and invest money in uh, Esau system. You know, that's the way them false prophets talk. They ain't talking about the destruction of America, man. They ain't talking about Yahweh Shai is uh, coming back to destroy America and put the Negro Latino Native American, the elect out of them, in power to rule the earth. Okay? The false prophets ain't talking like that. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 25. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. That's right. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days. O rebellious house, will I say the word and I will perform it 
said you how about some y'all with shot power? See, the most high know you Negro Latinos and Native Americans are rebellious. Okay? He already know it. He know all your thoughts. He know you rebellious when it comes to his word. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 26. Again, the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushad came to me saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. See? They are saying it ain't going to happen in my time. But it's happening, man. Okay? Happening right before your eyes, man. The Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushad, bringing Esau. And he prophesied of the times that are at far off. See? That's the way they talk, man. What you saying ain't gonna happen in my time. It's far off. I'll be dead and gone when it happens. That's the way people talk, man. Okay? Especially Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's the way they talk, man. Go ahead. Verse 28. Therefore say unto them, Thus said Yahweh Shem Yahushai power, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said Yahweh Shem Yahushai power. Good. You see? That's it on that. Give me Mark 13 and 31. Uh, Mark chapter 13 verse 31 Go ahead. heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away Go ahead. verse 32 but of that day and that hour knoweth no man start back up one more time this is Mark chapter 13 verse 31 Read it slow, bro. heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away Heaven and earth is talking about the generations. Okay? That's what it's talking about. But the word of Yahweh Shema was shot shall not pass away. Okay? It's going to happen, man. So go ahead. Verse 32. But of, but of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the sun but the Father. See, that's why I can't tell you it's going to, y'all was shot coming back 7 o'clock on Saturday. See, because when he sent his son back, it's in the Father's mind when he want to send him back. Okay? So we got to wait on who the world in it recall God, who, who the world in it recall God, it's a lot of things. who the world in it recall God, okay, which is the Howard, to give his son Yahweh shot the green light. But we gotta wait. Go ahead. Verse 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray. See? Take ye heed, watch and what? Pray. So you supposed to be watching for the signs and praying too. Okay? Because this word is not gonna prolong anymore. It's gonna happen, man. And it's happening. For you people saying it's gonna be far off. No, it's popping off, man. Prophecies are popping, man. Okay? We just waiting on the next birth pain, man. Okay? And Esau is going to lock this place back down. And you know what's the crazy thing about it, man? You know when you go in the hospital and you go to jail, you know they turn the AC up high. Okay? They turn the AC up high, man. You go to jail, man, the, the, when you go to the county, the AC in there is high, man. It's cold in there. And when you go to the hospital, it's cold in there too. Now, why do they turn the AC up like that? To keep the germs down, right? So you would look at the hospital and say, look, why y'all turn the AC up like that? They would tell you to keep the germs down. They keep the germs down. So here it is. It's cold right now. And they saying uh, COVID is going to increase. In cold weather. See that? See the trickery? The deception? 
in the games that Esau played. Here it is. They keep it cold in the hospital to keep the germs down. But Esau will tell you in the cold, COVID is going to increase. <laughs> See that? That's the games Esau played, man. Esau tell you people that because he know you ain't sharp in the mind. You know? Go ahead. I just had to throw that out there. For ye know not when the time is. Go ahead. Verse 34. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey. Yeah, he went back to the Father. They tell you that he went back to the Father when you read uh, uh, Acts the first chapter. When they were standing around looking, and he went up, and, the, and he, he was taken up in the chariot, and he took off to the Father, man. Okay? So he went on that long journey. Go ahead. Who left, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. Who was his servant? Starting with the elder apostle of GMS. On down. See? To the rest of the brothers. Go ahead. We watching and praying. And we telling you what's popping, man. Okay? How these, how these uh, uh, prophecies are taking place in the world, man. Go ahead. And to every man his work and commanded the potter to watch. Go ahead. Verse 35. Porter. Salaki, Salaki. And commanded the porter to watch. Yeah, matter of fact, look at the word porter right there. I got this cube, man. I've been up. I've been up since mine since like four this morning. So y'all got this cube, man. I'm a little tired. Y'all got this cube. It's uh, Strong's G John 10, I want to say, that's what it said, John 10, and Yahweh Shai is that door, but what it is is, Yahweh Shai is that door, but his servants are the doorkeepers, okay, so we watch it, okay, so it tells you in, uh, what you're looking at? Oh, with the Strong's definitions. Oh, okay. It also says uh, from G2374 in uh, Salakia, you know, I know it's, it's Greek. I can't really read it in the Greek. But it says a watcher, a gate, a gate keeper, a gate, a gate warden. Oh, okay. A gate warden. Okay. That kept the door. Yep. Yep. So see, so what it is is, so what it is is that uh, Yahweh Shah is the door when you read John the 10th chapter. Okay? Yahweh Shah is the door. But, let's just go by. Yahweh Shah is the door, right? And that's the only way you can, that's the only way you can get in is through Yahweh Shah. You can't come up no other way, okay? The door is Yahweh Shah, but Yahweh Shah got his service at the door, watch it, okay? So that's what that's telling you right there. Okay, go ahead. All right, uh, verse 35, read it again. All right, the order. this is a, uh, Mark chapter 
verse 34. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. Yup, starting with the elder apostle GMS on down. The rest of the brothers, go ahead. And to every man his work. Yup, that's what we're doing right now. Work. We labor right now. Teaching his word. Alright, go ahead. And commanded the porter to watch. See? So the doorkeeper, the warden. So we are the doorkeepers. But Yahweh Shah is the door. When you read John 10 chapter. Go ahead. Verse 35. Watch ye, watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. So while these people out here stupefied in the zombie state, Yahweh Shai is going to come up on them like a thief in the night to the one that's saying, look, that vision y'all talking about, it ain't going to happen in my time. Stupid. Go ahead. At even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. So, unexpected, man. He's going to pop up on you, man. See? Because... Like we was reading back up, don't nobody know when he coming back. It's in the it's in the mind of the heavenly Father. So here it is. Yahweh Shai was letting us know. Look, just keep watching, stay prayed up. Keep watching for the prophet, warn the sheep, and stay prayed up. Go ahead. Verse thirty-six. Let lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. Yeah, he find you sleeping. Okay, go ahead. Verse 37, and what I say unto, unto you, I say unto all, Go ahead. watch, watch, you got to watch, man, so give me, uh, I want to jump to, what's that, Psalm 50 and 20, Psalm 50 and 20, this is Psalm 50, verse 20, Go ahead. It says, Thou sittest and speaketh against thy brother. Yeah. Esau accused us of being wicked, which Esau is the enemy. But he accused us of being wicked, right? So he accused us of being wicked to where the Heavenly Father should cast us off. Okay? And really, as if we shouldn't be out here teaching the word, as if they are the chosen people, the Edomites. Okay, so read that again. All right, this is Psalms chapter 50, verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Mm -hmm. Thou slandereth thy own mother's son. So Esau is going to the heavenly father on the left hand side, lying and saying, look, you should cast them off because they are wicked. Okay, but Yahweh Shemel Shai got an elect that shouldn't bow down, that's not going to bow down to uh, uh, to these idols or be contrary to Yahweh Shemel Shai. When you read Romans 11 chapter, okay, he has preserved unto him 7,000 men, okay, and seven mean completion. So Yahweh Shemel Shai got a complete amount of men that's not going to uh, worship this beast, okay, or be in league with Esau Edom, okay, so read that again, this is Psalms chapter 50 verse 20, go ahead, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou, thou slaughter, slandereth thy own mother's son, yeah, Esau is a false accuser, man, okay, Esau wants the heavenly father and his son to cast us off. Okay? Esau is a false accuser. But go ahead. This is, uh, uh, no, jump to uh, Psalm 71. What was that? Psalm 71 and, uh, verse 10? Yeah. This is, uh, Psalm chapter 71, verse 10. Go ahead. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. See? So these Edomites are taking counsel together against who? The Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. Okay? 
So they got counsel against the Negro Latinos and Native Americans wanting the Heavenly Father to cast us off. Okay? So Esau is using deception to try to paint us in a bad light. But the Heavenly Father and His Son is not going to break His covenant with the children of Israel, man. Okay? So read that again. This is Psalms chapter 71, verse 10. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. Yeah. So jump back to uh, Psalm 50. All right, this is Psalms chapter 50, verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Go ahead. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. See, you thought Yahweh was was just like you. When you put all this hell on us, okay, and, and forced us to eat pork, and putting pork in certain things that we didn't know about, okay, you, you, uh, uh, you broke up, you broke up the homes, uh, putting men on child support, passing wicked laws, okay? You did all that and to make Israel forget who they were as a people and you thought the Most High was just like you. In other words, wicked. Okay? You thought the Most High was just like you, but the Most High was justifying was justified in punishing us and putting us in this predicament because we broke the statute of laws of commandment. But while we broke the statute of laws of commandment, you was lying on us, okay, slandering us and putting all type of hell on us and uh, destroyed us so much to the point where we forgot who we were as a people. And when we forgot who we were as a people, you start claiming as ye were the uh, chosen people of the Bible. And if the Abba Shemel was shot, gave you the covenant. You eat them, Mike. You so called white people. Okay? So go ahead, bro. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. Yeah, you thought the Abba Shemel was shy, was like you and had the mind state of you as if he was going to let you rule forever. In your wickedness. Okay? Even though you got unjust laws and punishing us with your unjust laws, you thinking the most high is granting you uh, uh, authority to where you going to rule forever. The covenant is with you. You going to have everlasting life. But go ahead, bro. But I will reprove thee, correct thee. Okay? That's why we come out here and tell you, Esau, how about Shemel Shai going to destroy you and your wickedness? Okay? That's why we're telling you. And that's why we're telling the Negro Latinos and Native Americans that these visions are, are not going to prolong anymore because uh, these curses is going to be lifted off of us because we not, it wasn't designed for us to be in this predicament forever. And them curses going to go on Esau and these other nations, man. The curses are slowly sliding on Esau, man. That's why his empire is falling, man. You got Jake waking up to the truth, and them curses are slowly sliding over there to Esau, but they're going to be in full effect in the kingdom, man.